hey, guess what? It's time for some more stories around the campfire. I don't want to scare anyone. But I'm going to give it to you straight about Jason. Next up, for Stories Around the Campfire, we had a chance to check out the Creep Show Season 2 debut on Shudder. And God damn it, we're going to talk about this one. Ziggy, get in on this. Oh, man. I'm just stealing this motherfucker, man. This is awesome. Oh, okay. Never mind then, Ziggy. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, it, it is no. No, no, it, it is Colonel's turn. He didn't, he didn't have anything to say for let him have it because he didn't have anything to say right. for the last one. I mean, right, right, right. it's not like he had I'm, I have an opinion. You give your opinion after my opinion. Our opinions are going to be the same. I already know without even talking about this prior. For God's sake. What a Go bitch. ahead, Ziggy. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, Creep Show, season two. This is how you kick off a fucking season, man. These two episodes were fantastic. The content was great. Stories were great. I'm just saying, and the, the, the second one in particular is a dose right for the, the hardcore horror fan of a certain series. It's fucking great. And I'll stop right there and let Colonel get in on this because, fuck, man, it was just great. What a good start. I hope they can keep this momentum up the whole season. I doubt it, but, man, what a fucking fantastic start. All right, Colonel. Oh, again. Like I said, I, it's not a Monday if someone doesn't say, you stealing fucker, like you thunder stealing prick. We had to get it in somewhere, and this is where our new word's going to come in. Again, I don't want to steal too much thunder because I want Crank to talk about this. But yes, fucking, yeah, fucking Shudder and Creep Show. God <laughs> damn, I was hyped. Like, I messaged these guys as soon as I watched it. Like, then they watched it more recent. I watched that fucker on Thursday. I was like, oh yeah, yeah. Like, I was that fucking <laughs> I mean, it's the first story. Uh, God, I should have looked up the names of the titles. I know the name of the second story, but the first one eludes me right now. Mo Model Kid. Model Kid, yes. Okay, so Model Kid is our first story. A tale has been told before. Mm -hmm. But, man, does this have the fucking creep show feeling we've been begging for since the show's inception. And Kevin Dillon fucking killed it <laughs> as a fucking drunk, abusive fucking dude. Like, he fucking killed it. The story was great, right up Creep Show's alley. And then we get into our second story Public Access <laughs> of the Dead. I don't want to say too much, but people. Public, public Television of the public Dead. Public Television of the Dead, whatever. Public Television, Public Access. Same fucking thing. Tomato, so tomato. But damn it, you haven't lived until you've seen Bob Ross take out a bunch of deadites and Civil oh. War fucking coins. Oh. That was, that was beautiful. I mean, a spoiler alert, yeah. But there's more. <laughs> I have more thoughts on it, but I want Crank to get in on this too. I'm gonna steal it. Well, you guys, you guys have said it. Uh, this is what we've been wanting Creep Show to do with the colors, with the stories, with the ridiculous characters that that kind of make you want them to face some kind of just unrelenting death. It's beautiful. Uh, model kid Kevin Dillon plays an asshole father figure who wants Joe to grow up and be a man instead of a child who plays with horror figures and comic books. I think that's something a lot of us, you know, could relate to. And probably a lot of you out there watching right now could relate to growing up. You know, if you got into horror young or you got into comics young, there was always some authority figure that looked down on you for it. They may not have been Kevin Dillon asshole much, but... You know, there was always kind of a, maybe a, a weird look from a parent or an older brother or a teacher or something. And you felt that. So for Joe, the, the young character in this story, played by Brock Duncan, I thought him and Kevin Dillon capture this awful relationship well. And this actually reminds me of the throwback to the original Creepshow movie. The wraparound story is a, a kid who whose parents don't want him playing around with horror comic books and stuff like that. And he gets his revenge. And I thought that was a great way to do it. Um, then you, if you want to talk about a crossover with plenty of fan service, then there's public television of the dead. I mean, this is chock full of fan service. 
Um, going in, we knew Ted Raimi would appear as himself, displaying the Necronomicon in an antiques roadshow style program, and we had high hopes. But they really turned this one up to 11 with the other parodies they included, like uh, the Sherry and Lamb Chop parody. Uh, who, and she ends up being an alcoholic who's abusive to her staff. And then the Bob Ross style painter who has a dark past in Vietnam, which comes out. And I, that this was such a fun episode. I cannot wait for more. Um, now, I will say there was no Ash Williams that appeared out of nowhere like we had kind of hoped for, but I was, I was perfectly satisfied with this. But right. Right. But you did get the character, George. Yeah. I love, I knew who the fuck exactly who they were fucking talking about with that fucking character's name. I was like, yes. Right. So they, the famous line, groovy. Groovy. Right. So there you go. You still got that little, that little <laughs> thing there at the end. You got that. You got that. Let me see if anybody, if uh, any of you guys have seen Creep Show yet, let us know. Uh, all right. Uh, Lorena says, damn, forgot about the new season of Creep Show. Well, that's what we're here for, to remind you of these things. It's first episode is available now. Uh, Larry, Larry. I think he's a new uh, viewer. Welcome to the show, sir. He says, Creep Show, I like to. Excellent. That's uh, Lorena says, too. I know that dude. Oh, you know that guy. Okay. Totally from Lorena. I geeked out in pretty much every way, but the literal chicken killing one. Okay. Uh, Ick says, ooh, ooh, happy little bloodstain. Yes. Uh, no mistakes, just happy accidents. Oh, my God, man. Uh, we've been seeing these little parody memes of Bob Ross pa painting the little happy little bloodstains on everything. And for him to come to life in this creep show episode, well, it, it's a beautiful thing, man. I know we talk about this all the time. Fucking go out and subscribe to Shutter if you haven't already. Yeah. Um, God damn it. Uh, Patricia says, I haven't watched the new episode of Creep Show, but they talked about it on the podcast this past weekend. I will definitely be watching it soon. Speaking of uh, your podcast, uh, blood baths and boomsticks. You're going to be hosting again this week, so let us know when that drops, and we'll uh, check it out. Larry says, uh, "Well, he, he's using a government he's name, my slave name, yeah." But uh, Larry says, "What up, dudes? Yeah, the name here is Zigzag, Larry. <laughs> so, uh, and I'm be careful. Oh, no. Yeah, and and oh and no, the colonel is oh, right, the colonel is on now. Uh, Kiara says." I have not seen Creep Show yet. Oh, I'm okay. disappointed in myself. Yeah. Well, I'm slightly. Uh, I'm disappointed too. Yeah, as soon as you Wait. leave us, you immediately go to your computer or TV where your shutter is hooked up and remedy this. Believe us, you have to. Wait, Ziggy, you might be able to help me with this, but mm -hmm. um, Dr. Loomis is around, isn't he? Dr. Loomis, isn't that the most disappointing thing you've heard that Kiara has not seen Creep Show yet? As a matter of fact. It was. I took that button off. Sorry, dude. Son of a bitch! You took it off? I had to. It's now this. <laughs> Colonel was so fucking hilarious, I had to put a laugh track in there. <laughs> All right. So, uh, speaking of, Colonel, do we want to drop your little news thing? You want to tell him about this? Yeah, I, th I think I will. I think I will. So, right. here's what we're going to do. Uh, wishes the three of us, but understand work schedules don't work this way. So, well, we still need to iron out the time because I thought about something and someone would be really pissed off at me for the next couple weeks. Hell's Kitchen will be over, and I won't get I won't get yelled at by a twelve year old girl. Um, we cranking myself for going live on live reviews right here on Facebook and uh, as I say Instagram. Now I'm not plugging on social media, idiot. Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. We're going to be going live and doing. New episode reviews right then and there, day of. It's going to be fun. I hope you guys join us if you can. You're probably going to get spoilers. Yeah. So once we iron out the final time, we'll give you time in advance. We'll, give you we'll let you know before Thursday. So if you don't want it spoiled, I'd well, love to have and, you. Don't have to tune in. 
Ziggy might be able to join us for at least a week because I think oh, he's right. We'll go. off yeah. work for a while. Yeah, laying low for a week. It's cool. So yeah, I can. I'll be here for the first one. Right. But you know, may we? We'll see. We'll see how it works. Thursdays can be crazy around there. So yeah. So Thursday night, we'll we'll figure out a time here shortly and let you guys know. We are going to go live probably sometime eight nine p.m. Eastern. Uh, we know we can't stay on very long because Colonel's got to get his beauty sleep. It's not working. Look at that. The, be the bearded menace needs his beauty sleep, man. So, uh, but we will get on. We'll chat with you guys about the episodes. Watch them sometime during the day or the early evening. Then join us on Thursday night and let's talk about Creep Show. And we might be doing this with some other shows later on. Um, I might do something with this and some of you guys as well when The Walking Dead comes back for its final season in August. Um, I know Colonel doesn't like the show anymore, but I, I would recommend the last, I would recommend the last episode. It's, it's pretty good, but not great. Um, we'll see. But. So you're going to make me subscribe to AMC plus just so I can watch fucking The Walking Dead. No, 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 no. We'll figure, out a way. We'll, we'll figure out a way. We'll figure out a way. And you've gotten to August anyway. So true. But yeah, so join us on Thursday night. We're going to do a quick little live thing talking about Creep Show every episode. I think they're, what are they doing? Six or ten this year? I think six, though. Okay. So we'll let you know when we do that, but it's starting this Thursday. So, woo! Creep Show is available on Shutter. Get it now. <clears throat> For that alone. Absolutely. Come here. Come here. Hey, this is Miko Hughes from Pet Cemetery and Wes Craven's New Nightmare. You're watching Death Curse Society. Is that okay? That's it. Thanks, guys, for watching Death Curse Society. This is Red Crank here. If you enjoyed what you saw, make sure to go up here, hit that subscription button. Make sure to hit that bell, too, so you get a notification whenever we drop some new videos. And speaking of different videos, bam, right over here, we got a couple for you to check out as well. Check these out. Keep watching Death Curse Society. Thanks for tuning in. Woo!